What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Arnold. Welcome back to AM on the Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing all right. Can't complain. Today, we're here back with another reaction video. Today's reaction video is going to be 10 things David Dobrik can live without. GQ interview. I guess he does um, YouTube. I think he does YouTube as well, all right? If you guys are new to the channel, hope you guys smash that like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below in the comment section. Show your boy some love, all right? Um, yeah, so... What else does he do? I think, let's just do YouTube, right? Vlog and all that stuff. I don't know, I never watch his stuff really and really. I think that's what I just heard of him. But anyway, that. Let's get into the video. I see a Tesla. Not mine. Mine's outside. But this is in case I ever get a dog. This nigga got a Tesla for a dog? It's like, it's like a, it's a smaller size. Oh. <laughs> they have stuff doing shit. Hey, I'm David Dobrik, and these are my essentials. He has a flamethrower. This right here is extremely important to me as a charging case. I know this is really, really lame, but I have a method behind it. I have two. I like having two chargers because while I'm on about with one, the other one is sitting at home and on the charger, and then I can come home and switch them so I'm never ever sitting at the charger. I hate having my phone at the charger because obviously I can't use it, and it's just a pain to plug in at night because I can't see the world connector is. I gotta stop doing these motions. I really do it in every video. Uh, <laughs> this is the honest truth. My phone hasn't died. No, I actually died yesterday. But before then, it hasn't died in like, in like, three months I think, because I'm like, I'm on this charging system. And when I travel, I have one on my phone and two in my bag. So uh, I'm ready, if, you know, if something happens, I'm stuck in the middle of the ocean, I'll have charge for at least 17 hours. This is but no. essential. This is my Swab Kids Shampoo. Now this is a very particular one. I've just recently switched over to, it's a three in one. So it's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I started using these, believe it or not, when I was younger. <laughs> And I just haven't been able to give this up for some reason. These are also great. To <laughs> be in the middle of the ocean way. 17 hours of charge, but there was no back, signal. There's always uh, a fact on the back of them. This one doesn't have it because it's a three in one. So I think they like they omit the fact because they have so many other things in it already that there's no need for the fun fact. But um, but sometimes it like, will teach you about like a walrus or like a sea lion. Um, so I've been learning a lot of facts from this. It's like honestly a learning tool. You're really watching like, this guy's a f***ing idiot. And it washes your entire body. Not really. Like, you do three squirts on the head, and then you do two a little on the Makes body. Makes sense. And then it all kind of rolls down like a car wash, like a big steam roll over your body. It's three in one, so it's, you know, it's applying everything at once. And then you're clean. And it just washes right off your towels, and it's a done deal. It saves time and product space. So I have kids. <laughs> My next item is gum. Gum is super, super important to me. I have a drawer just dedicated to gum. Wow. I can't have conversations with people without chewing gum. Like, I hate being close to people. Now I'm a little... Listen! A little... I thought I was the only person. If you see me, if you stand too close to me, right? I do this. I talk... Let me see how I talk. Like, how right now I get my mouth talk? I talk like this. Well, I talk like with my, my, with my mouth closed in a way. While I ain't open my mouth, that's how I talk. If I'm too close to somebody, and I feel like my breath might be stink. I don't care what anybody said. You can feel when you when you feel like your breath stink. Like for me, I don't like being too close to people too. So I'd be like, yeah, man, you know, it's just you know, just hard. Just, just it's just crazy, you know what I mean? You know, it's, I was trying to go but I was reading, but you know what I mean, kind of good. That's I don't know why I do that. I don't know why. It's a bad habit, but hey, I'm trying to use my my stink breath. You know, not chewing gum because of the face mask, so I don't feel like I'm like spewing my breath at people, and I, I just always, I don't think it, it's not exactly. I do. Not because you're a celebrity, I mean, you have to think breath. You still need something in there that's still working at the same time as body. Spearmint is my favorite. Polar ice, not my favorite. It's kind of only here to show you guys a different option. Peppermint's good, but if you're going to go peppermint, I'm going to go all on the spearmint. And I just like the color of green. It catches your eye, and it goes, whoa, what is, what is in that guy's mouth? I want to talk to him. And one thing I do hate is cinnamon gum. Oh my god, it is the most disgusting gum I've ever had. But that's obviously why like, it's not here and it's not allowed in this house. Oh shit, did you guys say you want to see my gum trip? Okay, hope you're ready for this one. Ew. Oh, I did it! Oh my god! I never got it on my first try! <laughs> that's my favorite gum trip. Wow, that made me feel good. That nigga put a gum on his shoe. Camera. This is really, really important to me. I just started taking disposable pictures like two years ago. Um, I Why? Why those are so long? I really like these because 
they're so not aggressive. Like you can go into a premiere, you can go into like any event, and you can take pictures of anybody, and no one expects anything. It was just like I look like a twenty-year-old kid with like the <laughs> pictures turn out amazing. This is my sexy friend Jeff with the sexy friend Stas and Kelsey. This wow. is Cameron, This is Julia and Leonardo DiCaprio at the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood premiere. They weren't looking at my camera, but I stood right next to the camera guy and quickly snapped her. Benny drawing on my face. Um, for wow. Example, for Margot Robbie. I asked her if I could take a picture and she literally goes, aw, okay. <laughs> she thought this was so pathetic. It's my favorite, John Stamos. <laughs> He's beautiful. I have it. When was the last time anybody see one of those disposable cameras? I can't think off of the top of my head where you could go in the store and buy that. You can't do it. I'm going Kylie, the second the same party. This is Kylie eating a slice of pizza. Jeez, he did it. And then this is, um, this is Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton, by the way, is the sweetest person on planet Earth. The best part about this is you can like really live in a moment. I know it sounds so cliche, but it's wow. nice to take a picture and not look at it and not have to take 50 other pictures. And now you can start an app, it's called David's Disposable. And on the app, you take one picture and you don't get to see the pictures until 9 a.m. in the next morning. This one's important. This is my Eli. Ah! Uh, Wait, hold up. I said I wanted a flamethrower. Correction, it's not a flamethrower. I was trying to find how much these cost, where I could get one, all of this, because I really wanted one. And they told me the country I live in can bring it in here. It's considered a weapon because it's a flamethrower. I clearly show them it's not a flamethrower. It says it on the box. It's not a flamethrower. Don't try this at home unless you're David <laughs> But yeah, it says I'm not a, it's not a flamethrower, so why? So like, help me bring in a flamethrower. Into, into, I live in the Texas Cages, all right? Help me bring in a flamethrower. I want a flamethrower. Right. What do you call it if it's not a flamethrower? Help me bring in, help me bring in not a flamethrower, I guess. Help me. Hey guys. This is perfect for like when you're roasting s'mores, and this is perfect for when you hate your neighbor. So it has, it has a little bit of both. This has really gotten me like through a lot. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I want, no, hold on. I want yeah, one. I one need picture, one. You don't get to see the pictures. Oh my gosh, hold on. So this it. one's important. This is my Elon Musk. Not a play. It's pretty nice. I want a not a play. Right now, this is perfect for like when you're roasting s'mores, and this is perfect for when you hate your neighbor. So it has, a, it has a little bit of both. This has really got me like through a lot. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Now the next oh one. Oh my gosh, is man! Perfume. It's called Peter's Perfume. I know, I and mean, the name's not crazy, but if they take a score, I would come up with it. There's two different scents. This one's amber and cashmere, and this one's grapefruit and sandalwood. They're both unexpected but elegant. The, the, what we use to describe it, and we just designed the boxes, and it's really cool because it, it like opens up um, just like an iPhone box. Which, fun fact, um, I read somewhere that Apple, the way they design the boxes, it opens faster and faster the higher you get. It like matches with your heart rate of you opening the box for the first time. This, I don't think it matches with anybody's heart rate, but it is a cool box. It's coming out this September, I think, and it's available at davidsperfume.com. This is the yeah, first one, but it's like, it's all fake here. Oh, this, is this isn't actually my house, it's just a green screen. Yes, yeah. These are important. This is where someone like watches the video and they just like exploit out of it. I love waters. Facts. Nice. 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 I think currently I drink about five liters of water a day. If you were to do bottles, it'd be it'd be like ten of these a day. I'm really good fish. And my temperature preference for water seems to be like that. It's um, definitely room temperature. Uh, Y'all like know I like my water on him. Y'all see me with my big bottle. Now, the other most important part about your life is sleep. I think it's so important to have like a comfy pillow because you spend like. What? Crash, I feel like you should invest. The most expensive thing you should invest in your house is your bed. I feel like you should. I see not. I, okay. 
if you're a hard worker, I feel like you should go all out on your bed. If you got to spend ten thousand dollars on your bed, I know it don't make sense, but th theoretically, it don't make sense financial wise. But your rest is important. I mean, if you can't have a comfortable bed, what's the point? Have your life in that thirty percent of your life in that. So this is my yeah, make it comfortable. It's bamboo pillow. It's a little pricey. It was fifteen thousand um, dollars. So it's a lot. I'm totally kidding. Okay, I was just about to say. People, I take that back. <laughs> I take that back. Oh, okay. Everybody's face in here was like, okay. <laughs> it's actually a very like affordable pillow. It's the perfect amount of soft and thermos. And fifteen thousand dollars for a pillow. Imagine. I believe there's a pillow cost fifteen. Fifteen. Can you say fifteen thousand? Hold up. You spend like Hold up, you say fifteen thousand or fifteen hundred. So this is my favorite. It's a bamboo pillow. It's a little pricey. It was fifteen thousand dollars. Um, so it's a lot. I'm totally kidding. You say fifteen. Everybody's face in here was like, okay. I think it's like forty dollars. I think it's like thirty dollars. Oh. It's actually a very like affordable pillow. It's the perfect amount of soft and firmness. And when you flip it over to the cold side of the pillow, like everybody loves, it's like really cold. It's like a perfect amount of cold. It's actually the only thing I like cold. I'm a side sleeper, so this, I, you know, the side of my face is on here, and then I put a softer pillow that's like a little bit longer. It's almost like a body pillow in between my legs. I have to have something in between my legs. <laughs> Sounds weird. Sounds really weird. This yep. is really important to me. I'm just showing off. <laughs> but keep them coming. These are my favorite awards. This is my Kids' Choice Award, and this is my People's Choice Award. I'm a huge fan of Nickelodeon, and like I used to watch Kids' Choice Awards, and Josh Peck got to present me with my first Kids' Choice Award, which is crazy. I was also slimed at this award show, which was really fun. I was told it, it tastes like green apple, um, but it doesn't. So that was a serious letdown. These are really cool, because I technically only won one of these, but when you're at the show, right when you win, they hand you an award that's not yours yet. Because you get your actual award that they engrave your name into like months later, like it comes in the mail. But they gave me one just to hold on camera. And I was like, yeah, wow, I'm so excited. And then I left, like right away, immediately booked it for the door. So now I have two. They haven't asked for this one back. It makes no sense. I just don't think they care. Actually, I don't put that in because now they're gonna be like, oh, we do care. And they're gonna send a swap thing to my house. This one's cool because it's a kaleidoscope and you can look through the back and it's like a proper kaleidoscope. And then these are so incredibly heavy. Look at this, look at this. Damn! Crack my table. It's perfect for when someone robs me, and now I have two of these. One deserved and one not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love awards so much, and I, all, I honestly think they're kind of pointless. Like, it's kind of weird that people decide what is great and what's not. So I've just, I've just been making my own awards. TikTok of the month, top content creator, obviously this is like not the biggest card award, the nicest tush award. This one's nice. This one's heavy, just like the People's Choice Award. These are from Terrible. <laughs> my next thing I'm like, this is my Natalie. I don't see one of the only bottles out. This is the only Natalie. One of one. One of one. Natalie's my assistant slash friend slash high school homie. Um, we dated back in high school. I, we didn't. I always tell people we didn't. We did not date. We went to dance together. Insert pick. Natalie asked me, believe it or not, even though I look like uh, she was like really desperate. He looks typical. You're better than my last resort. I was her last choice. <laughs> but to be honest, that was after I made a public announcement that I was not going to the dance. So I already, I already eliminated all my options. And then Natalie was my friend. Sorry like, for the dogs. I'll come out of retirement. And I will come and join you at the turnabout. Our favorite part of working together. Nothing. Not fun. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> We're best friends. <laughs> for the next item, I'd like to keep Natalie here. It's a little surprise for you. I think it's not that right. It's deep dish. Now, this is really oh my gosh. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate deep dish pizza. Okay, let me not say that. The deep dish pizza, I, I, the deep dish pizza I had from Domino's was trash, man. And it was in Tampa, Tampa. I don't know, maybe Chicago. I hear people talk about Chicago was a lot. Let me know where places serve good deep dish pizza. But with the place I had it, the first time, I guess it's because my first time getting deep dish pizza, I had a bad experience. So let me not say I hate deep dish pizza. I hate Domino's pizza and Tampa, Florida. Deep dish pizza. Oh my gosh. 
I never felt like I at that point in time, you know I wanted to do the money I, I but I wanted to grab my wallet, take a dollar and throw it in the toilet and flush it. Cause that's exactly what it felt like when I ordered that pizza. It was so bad. Oh my gosh. It was terrible. I regret it. No, this is I don't regret much of my life. Wow, that is crazy. It's like a commercial. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I forgot we were doing the video. Shoot. <laughs> Not even really like your head. Oh no, the cheese fell off. You know, sometimes you get moments like this. <laughs> this is the best because it's not even really like pizza. It's kind of just like a like, whole new thing. It's like pizza pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my next favorite thing. It's this thing got so much weird stuff. I like it. When you refer, I think when you refer two people to buying a Tesla, this one's, this one's pretty quick. This one's from top speed, eight miles per hour, acceleration zero to four in sixty miles per hour. It has a horn. I got to take the shot. Oh, it's not on. <laughs> this nigga is killing me. I started wearing it because I, I would sweat a lot under my armpits and let me switch over to black and you never ever see it. It was like a cheat code. But now I don't sweat under my armpits now because I'm not like, like thinking about it constantly. Oh. I'm like, oh my god, I hope I don't pit stain. So it kind of cured me of my sweat. I never thought I about that. I don't know, I sweat a lot. Sweat a lot. Wow. I just grabbed a handful and it's just all black t-shirts. It's so much easier to wear black because it's like one less decision you have to make every day. Look at this. So cool. And they're slimming. So you either hit the gym or you start wearing black. It's pretty much a win win. <laughs> All of these shirts are okay. different. I really do. My favorite shirt is just like a plain black tee. But sometimes I'll spice it up and I'll have like a crazy logo on it like this. That's nuts. Or sometimes I'll go with buttons. I'm really unstoppable. Oh, I have two buttons. Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes my shoes will have a little bit of color. That's where I like to mix it up. And then sometimes I'll wear a blue hat. Thank you for watching GQ. We'll see you later. I never thought about that. Why y'all don't oh, oh God, oh, this, oh, this, you're playing again. Why y'all don't tell me that was a cheat code? Come on, man. What's that? Come on, man. You're supposed to be looking out for your boy. You're supposed to be like, all right, listen. Put on more black. Put on more black and it hides your sweat. I sweat a lot. You know what? That's a done deal. I go to my Amazon cart, I got all that bunch of black stuff. So we all see me wear black. Like, damn, like, is black is your favorite color? Yup, gonna be. But my favorite color is blue. I like blue. What, what dark blue hide the skin, hide, hide the sweat skin? You know? Let me check. Well, like, maybe this blue? No, this blue. Well, maybe this blue or something darker. Let me know. That too. Let me know. Hope you boy out. But, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. I got a little education on t-shirts now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into it for real. I never thought about that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section. Help your boy get to 1K subscribers. We are on the road, we are gonna make it, we are gonna do it. And with that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day and be great, be loving. And remember, the world is yours. Peace.